Back to doing some more of the Coldwell Lamb stuff. We're currently in the middle of Anchor Deep, so... Yeah, it's somewhere around, like, past the halfway mark when it comes to, like, uh... The entire main, uh, sort of game. So, I guess we'll just keep going as always. <laughs> At least we know that the progression is a little bit more, um... Um, what's the best way of describing it? I wouldn't say linear, because the progression of the game isn't really much of a linear... I mean, it kinda is linear, because there is, like, a start and an end and, like, progression happening all throughout. But at the same time, it's a little bit more clearer than, like, other games, say, like, Hollow Knight. Which is annoyingly, like, vague in terms of, like, progression and stats and whatnot. So, I kinda like this game being, um, sort of, uh, sort of a linear progression in terms of, like, knowing where you are. In terms of, like, where you are in the game and whatnot. Which is pretty good. But anyway. So far, uh, we've last, uh, maintained a little bit of the cult here. Everyone is beginning to be a little bit hungry, and some people are sleeping outside of their tent, which means that they don't have enough tents, question mark? Why are you sleeping over here? Why are you, why are you, there are two of you guys sleeping over here? Don't tell me there's not enough, like, bedding for you guys, are you kidding me? Alright, I guess I'll, uh, quickly sort that out, so... Let's quickly get some sleeping bags set up again. So that way we can accommodate a lot more, uh... Cult, uh, followers here later in the future. In the meantime, I might as well, like, uh, harvest off all the, um, crops over here. God, I can't talk anymore, Jesus. I had, like, a somewhat productive day today, and yet my brain really wants me to suffer. Amazing. Gotta love uh, today's uh, sort of conditions, I guess. It is a little bit more colder than usual. I, um, uh, it is a little bit colder than usual, but then again, I don't really complain too much about the cold, honestly. Mass Boy says, I suddenly rem remembered the clip of you saying uwu. I, I, I don't know which specific clip, because I know a lot of instances where I said uwu in the past. And I don't know exactly which clip it is, so... It, it could be, honestly, anything, Mass Boy. Alright, so let's quickly get all of our refined materials here. I don't want to accidentally interact with those followers asleep, because that would give, like, a very weird negative uh, debuff in some ways, but why the heck are they sleeping over there? Is there simply not enough accommodation for you guys to sell in? Are you kidding me? Alright, let me just prepare this accommodation over here, and you guys can start things, fixing up some new, uh, new bedding. Or accommodation, I guess. New bedding. I think it makes, that makes a little bit more sense. Alright, take all these things up. And we can throw in some more flowers over here. Or camellia seeds. And we can also uh, re-educate sparkles real quick. You should now be completely cured out of dissenting sort of, um, things, I, I guess. Alright, anyway, time for you to be released. There you go, sparkles. And let's take a look at our food situation. So far, our food situation is still kind of grim. Um, I think it will be wise that we can get some, like, um, more fish in order to get those, like, nice delicious fish feasts. Um, to help, like, uh, boost a little bit of, like, the follower loyalty in the cult, but at the same time, I also don't really care too much about getting so many quality, um, meals in some ways. Uh, then again, we do have a good amount of food in some ways, I think. Hopefully. Uh, let's just quickly get some more food here, set that all cooked up. Very interesting sort of QTE elements when it comes to, like, uh, cooking some, uh, some meals. Everyone's doing random things. You are... What the heck are you two doing over there? What are you doing, Yarar? Okay, what do you want, uh, Panager? Panager? Please, leader, there are some few folks who are starving and have no place to call home. We must let them join the cult. Fine, I'll let them join the cult. Let's see if these are good people or not, or else I'll just, uh, sacrifice them. Or something. Um, easier to level up, I guess, so that's okay. Ah... Amazing. And keep going around through here. Hyena? Hyana? Hyana, I think that's how to pronounce their name. You're a natural skeptic and you're also terrified of death. So, um, at least we know who we're gonna uh, have a fight with, I guess. But anyway, th these guys are starving, which I don't give a shite, so we're gonna quickly do a sermon. Quickly do a sermon just to, uh, boost our, like, um, sort of abilities when it comes to, like, campaigns and dungeons. Which would be very helpful. Give me all your faith. 
Pass me all your faith. And we're only 25 short. God dang it. Anyway, that's good enough. Let's quickly uh, set up a new doctrine since we still have those commandments. So let's go for possessions, level 4. Worldly possessions means any. Um, I can't read. Worldly possessions mean everything or nothing. All cult members will gain the sacral architectural tree when a new building is uh, constructed. You get 5 plus faith. Or they'll gain the devotee trait when uh, delivering a sermon. I would probably go for a devotee trait, since we'll be still doing a lot of um, sermons to level up our character for the dungeons and stuff like that. There's actually a lot of like combat abilities that we still need to learn. Alright. More people leveling up. We can't do the fight pit anymore, which is a big rip. So I guess we can... Mm, I guess we can probably do like an Ascend Follower Ritual for our most useless... Um... <coughs> God, my throat. For our most useless uh, sort of follower, I guess, maybe? Unless that's not really possible. I mean, it's only 5%, but at the same time, um, why not? Why not give them a free ascension? Probably not worth it, because you need to... It's better to, like, uh, do an ascension for, um, for, like, a much more mature skills. So, I, ideally, you want one for, like... You want to do that for, like, a follower that is, um... A high level anyway, but at the same time, I don't give a shite. Alright, let's get ourselves those free devotions from all these leveled up peeps. Okay, people are still starving. God bloody dang it. Okay, here's some more berries. Here's some more berry bowls, so that way you guys can, like, chill for a second. There we go. More berry bowls. What about you? I can get some more devotion out of you. And at least you'll be leveled up. At least our supply of stone is looking pretty good. What about our supply of, um, of wood? Is our supply of wood looking pretty alright? Uh, yeah, it looks pretty okay. We don't need to worry about, like, uh, stone for a while. Alright, cleaning out the outhouses here. Sparkles looks to be able to level up, so let's quickly get that sorted. Amazing. Alright, let's move some more bodies out of the crypt, so let's, uh, get, uh, Brimeter out. There you go. <laughs> Why does the lamb look so freaking, like, annoyed having to move bodies all, all over the place? So confused. Here's Witness Agnes. Or Agnes? Or Agaris, oh my god. Witness Agaris. And here is, uh, Ponor. You honor me, great leader, I am eternally grateful. Appreciate that. And now level up. Give me all your devotion now. Amazing. Is there anyone else that I still need to level up? Because I don't know if I have anyone else left to be leveled up in some way. Let me just also get some more gold uh, being refined. Oh, so stone and wood. We can get some more wood uh, refined while we're at it. Alright, you do your best work. I'll get some free stuff out of here. Amazing. And, uh... Oh, there's some, like, leftover wood over here. Perfect. Is there anyone else I need to level up? Because I think that's pretty much everybody here that's been leveled up and whatnot. So, might as well quickly upgrade our beds. Make sure they, uh, have, like, a less... Like, a lower chance of, uh, breaking and crashing itself. There we go. Sell off all the leftover fish that we have so we can get some more monies back. I think that's pretty much it that we can, uh, sell. So let's get rid of some follower meat, because we don't really use it that much, or at all for the sake of our, uh, our cult, I guess. Quickly grab some more devotion, and we're pretty much, uh, good to go. Hunger is slowly going down, but that's to be expected. But let's have a nice little trip to Anchor Deep once again. And, yeah, let's see if there's anything interesting that we can still, um, do our grab from Anchor Deep. We still have, like, two more, um like, runs to do in this, uh, dungeon before we finally defeat or go through the boss fight, so... This will be interesting, I guess. 10% chance of negating damage, half heart to sort of, like, um, ability, and also getting fish while getting enemies. These are not great, um, tarot cards overall, but they're better than nothing, I guess. Or at least we have a pretty good sword and also a very good soul ability. Or curse ability, Jesus. Oh my god, it's you again. I, I don't freaking like you. Ow! All 
Alright, there we go. I'm so bad at, like, timing these hits. Ow! Alright. Ow. The only thing I can do is try to, like, uh, deflect the arrows? Ow! Jesus Christ, these guys are annoying. Jesus. God, I'm still- I'm still not used to being able to, like, handle this type of guy. Holy frick. Not creating a cold, I see. Says avoidable glitch, indeed. That's definitely what we're doing right now. We're definitely not creating a cult of some kind, definitely. Let me see if, like, uh, breaking some of the debris around through here or some of the vegetation here can help us heal a little bit, because I know that, um, just swinging and hitting with our sword can help us in some capacity. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it for our, uh, <laughs> for our vampire sword. Alright, moving on. Oh, great, it's more of you freaking idiots. There's some invincibility, I guess. Alright, more invincibility. There we go, one down. Two down. I hate dealing with these, like, tough-ass mobs. Jesus Christ. But anyway, we managed to get through with that. <coughs> God, these are getting much more... These guys are getting much more tough, Jesus. Alright. Make sure we avoid those guys a little bit. What the heck is up with these guys being so tough to, like, kill? What the frick? Alright, there goes another one. Let's kill this guy. There we go. And bonk that guy out of here. There we go. But yeah, these guys are getting much more harder to kill. I mean, more annoyingly to kill because they have much more um, higher HP than usual compared to other uh, enemies, but anyway. But can I join the cults once we get, like, a new follower in? You have the chance of, like, being part of, like, uh, the cult through the follower raffle. So I'll enable I'll enable that once we get a new follower or, like, new uh, cult follower in, in through uh, the game. So I have to, like, a set or, like, a toggle that setting when that happens. Can I please heal up a small bit? I am not confident with my two hearts of, like, um, health. Ide ideally, I will want a little bit more for the sake of my sanity, but I guess... I guess I get nothing. Alright. What do we have over here? Oh, Jesus. Ow! Okay. We need to, uh, use our invincibility powers, and you're back. God freaking dang it. It seems you cannot be stopped by disease or hunger. He sends you back from death stronger each time. Please know it was not my idea to cast out the Red Crown. The other bishops, my siblings, the blame lies with them. Please, I beg you, spare me. Kill Shimura, but do not send me to my death. Do, no, s do not send me to him. You will not find my temple. I'll be safe there. Yes, I will be safe. Begging for mercy, huh? Someone's trying to be desperate. Alright, anyway. That should be pretty much it for this room. Also, school just ended for me, so that's interesting. Alright, come on! Avoid these pieces of shite! Why do they have to burst? Okay. Try to avoid death challenges. Uh, very hard. Okay. There we go. Of course, we'll get some fish out of that. There we go. So far, it's good. And we also got a curse with us, so that's gonna be helpful. Or a relic, to be more exact. Jesus. Anyway, a loaf has turned into a donut, and no mercy, according to, uh, Avoidable Glitch, indeed. We're not gonna show any sort of bloody mercy. What do you think I am? Now, what the heck does that crown thing over there mean? So, might as well investigate. Let's see what type of relic that we can get over here. Hello, Kamek. Uh, poison all enemies versus uh, inflicting damage with a carrot ability. Or with, like, the number of tarot cards we have. I probably would go for, like, uh, this instead. Because having more um, choices for, like, dealing damage might be beneficial for us. Let me see if I can try and, like, um, get some uh, meat out of these uh, poor followers here. Unless the game says no? Why am I not getting any more meat? Okay, there we go. Hopefully I can heal. <laughs> By, by, like, hitting these things. But so far, I'm not getting any sort of luck, so that's a big rip. Alright, let's see if we can try and get a new follower here. Okay, now we have to fight these guys again. Lovely. 
Alright. Why are they so much more tougher to kill? What the hell? Alright, there we go. Make sure we dodge that. Alright, more guys to deal with. Alright, there we go. Okay, two down. Now we have to deal with this burster boy. There we go. These, they're definitely like harder to kill now. Which is a bit annoying. But then again, I can understand like the difficulty curve being a little bit more different after each run. Ow! I'm a freaking idiot. Imagine heal up like half a heart and then we wasted it. Like an idiot. Oh my freaking god, I am so bad at dodging these orbs. Which is not great, especially in the end game. I already spoiled like the end game already because I already played <laughs> through this entire game at some point back in November. There we go. Okay, now you can die. Jesus. <sighs> okay, so far so good. We're gonna save this um, mall looking follower. That's a very interesting follower form, but I'll, I'll take that, I guess. Alright, so let's just kill off all the rest of the debris here, but nothing else of, like, note or things to grab here. More bones, though. Okay, what does this, uh, red sort of, uh, heart thing mean? Seeing a lot of camellia flowers here. What does this all mean? Is this gonna be, like, something related to lore? Pray. Your possessions will follow you through death. Your possessions will follow you through death, you say? So if we die, this means that we're able to, like, get all of our stuff still, or not lose any stuff? That could be pretty helpful. Alright. Two more, like, rooms to go. Until we're done with this dungeon room here. Okay, Jesus Christ. Okay, you guys can all freaking die. Alright, there we go. Oh, Jesus. There's so many of them. What the hell? Ow. Okay. I, I'm so hard. I'm trying so hard to, like, uh, keep track with every single enemy I see, but there's so many. Okay. Okay, let me just quickly poison everybody once again. You can die, thank you. Ow. How the frick do you have so much bloody health, you frick? How do you have so much health? Okay, there we go. Barely, uh, lost it there, but Jesus Christ almighty, these guys are, like, beefed up for some reason. Alright, just don't mind me getting as much, like, materials here as possible. Anyway, I'm a freaking idiot. Okay. There's probably a chance that I most likely will die here. Uh, but at least I won't lose any materials from that. But Jesus Christ. Rice is getting a bit difficult. Okay. What's over in this direction? Is there something over here? Oh, it's you again. Great, let me see if I can try and make an offering to this uh, gold sort of like tree here. And I get even more gold. That's pretty nice. 46 gold. I get a profit out of that. Okay, if I give you 30 more gold, what will happen? I get even more gold. I, I appreciate... Uh, I appreciate the gesture. I guess I'm being more and more rich the more I stay here. Okay, here's even more gold. Other, otherwise known as gambling. Oh, great, I get materials. And uh, a new curse ability. Ooh. I mean, I don't know if I would want to use this. Oh, actually, no, the Twitch chat gave me a new curse ability. Great, I appreciate that, but I also don't care. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Alright, th this thing is currently recharging, so in the meantime, I'm just gonna destroy all of the uh, gold sacks here, because I need some gold, so since you're not gonna give me anything else, I'm just gonna do this. Just don't mind me. Just don't mind me whatsoever. I'm s <laughs> I look so injured because I don't have any more hearts left. Alright, let's see... What's down over here? Please do not be something that's very wackily threatening. Oh, hi there! Babu? It's Plimbo! Want a closer look at the finest antiques in the land in the old faith? 
uh, of the old fate. I can't read. Anyway, that's right. As long as me, ships are floating. Plim Plimbo is open for business. And that explains what Plimbo is. If this wets your whistle, come down to my sanctuary. Plenty of fine legally acquired goods. Legally acquired goods. Har har. Well, at least we know what to do with Plimbo, I guess. Smuggler's Sanctuary. Very, very legal uh, levels of goods. Anyway, let me just quickly uh, attack the foliage here to see if there's anything of interest here. But so far, I don't see anything. So anyway, I guess we'll keep going down. No, I, 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 I'm pretty sure they're talking about, like, legally acquired goods. Like, I, ca I cannot fathom that this person's, like, selling something that's completely illicit or anything like that. Like, surely not. Sure, I, I can only, I can only imagine that this person is only gonna be trading in the most, like, legally acquired goods imaginable. Yeah, legally. Legally acquired goods. How come you guys can't trust a man like that? Alright, anyway. Why would he in this sane world? Hmm. Alright. What are options? Both of these are such trash, though. Project out the crazy trail of Black Iker and... No, I don't want any of these abilities. I want, like, something more powerful or more godly than my, like, invincibility freaking curse. Come on. Come on, game. Give me something better that I can work with. Alright. Alright. Um, oh, I see. That's gonna be interesting for us to deal with. Someone has managed to, like, uh, grow into old age, or one of my followers have grown to old age. Ooh. Okay, these are pretty good weapons, or interesting weapons. The gauntlet or the vampiric hammer. Um, I'll probably go for the vampiric uh, gauntlet for the sake of, like, uh, dealing even more damage that we, uh, that we desperately need. But at least they're all vampiric weapons, so we could theoretically heal up in case we, uh, need to do so. Jesus Christ, what the frick are the health of these guys? Alright, there we go. God, the bloody health of these guys are really annoying. Increase in size. What the heck will happen if we, like, equip this charm? We've become big. Oh god, we have become big. Jesus Christ, that is annoying. That is very whack. Okay, uh, we are now becoming a big boy, and I can also visibly see the, uh, screen shaking. Jesus. Ow! Alright. It will make us harder to dodge stuff, but at the same time, we are a big boy. Ow! Frick you, then. How about I, like, throw in some invincibility for ya? There we go, and you can also die, Mr. Crab. Almost said Mr. Krabs, but then again, I would probably get uh, destroyed by like some sort of copyright team. Okay, this is <laughs> this is getting quite annoying being like a big boy. Oh god. All right, let's hopefully not die in the next few rooms, which I have a bad feeling about. <laughs> my my man's been thumping around now. Oh god. Ow! And there I go. <laughs> Died like from like one room short. God freaking dang it. But, like, yeah, it's annoyingly hard to, like, uh, maintain that. Jesus. But anyway, pray to the Red Crown, and I managed to keep, like, 100% of the items, so... I'm not- I'm not too mad about that. But, Jesus, it's definitely much more harder to kill the enemies now, which is annoying. So, yeah, we'll definitely we'll need to be a little bit more stronger in some ways. Alright, let's quickly get some more, like, uh... Get some more devotion into our, uh... uh my, our souls, so that way we can upgrade our, like, um array of tools. Not really tools, but like buildings, I guess. Alright, there we go. And uh, we can also open up the uh, follower raffle, so we can uh, have uh, one of our viewers join <laughs> join the cult, but they have like very terrible like stats. So uh, anyway, if you want to join the um, join the cult, I guess, you can join in the follower raffle, so that way you can be part of this very wacky and definitely not culty cult. Yeah, de definitely not that. Hey, how you doing, by the way, Tarandish, by the way? Hope you're doing pretty nice still. I also love how guy how these guys don't do much by themselves. What do you mean by that, uh, avoidable? I mean, I guess they can't really, like, uh, coordinate each other and, like, um, attack, uh, coherently, but at the same time, that would be horrifying if that's the case. 
All right, going once, going twice, going thrice, and no one cares. Okay, fine. We're gonna have to like, um, no one wants to join the cult, so I'll just uh, throw in the default name for this boy. All right. Since you have like terrible stats, I do not trust you on almost everything. Uh, in the meantime, though, we can start uh, throwing in some shelters here. Um, we can throw in a shared shelter or a grand shelter, so we either collect devotion while they sleep or uh, more followers could sleep. <laughs> this is actually pretty hard. Um, I'll probably go for a shared shelter. Because honestly, I, I would like to maximize the amount of space we have anyway, so we'll build a shared shelter. Um, we can also get some more, like, refinery stats as well, upgrades, and also a farmer station as well, which will be very helpful for our crops. So we'll set that up as soon as possible. But in the meantime, let's set up ourselves these new shared shelters, which we need a lot of gold for. Jesus Christ. We need more gold bricks for that. But luckily, we have some refineries to help work this uh, thing out, so we'll set that up real quick. Do, do, do. Two of our quarries have fallen apart. We also are, need to, like, replenish our food supply in some point, so that's something we need to do soon. <laughs> we knew, just knew we had to get, like, bad stats or something. Rip. Alright, that should be pretty much sorted. We need a new lumber yard, so that's gonna be fun to deal with. All right, let's see here. We can throw in some more berries in here and more pumpkin seeds. Okay, we need some more lumber yards. Let's quickly like do some maintenance stuff in terms of resources. So we'll set these areas up so that way we have a good steady supply of uh, wood. And we can also have a steady supply of stone over here as well. Right next to the propaganda speakers that are not on. So we'll just leave them there as decoration. Um, we should have enough for, like, uh, only two shared shelters, so that's not too bad. Um, oh, they're own, like, they're, like, their own building, which is interesting, so I'll put them somewhere around through here. Why not? Let's build these, uh, two areas over here. In the meantime, we could probably do some more fishing? Or maybe I should just wait for a little bit before we do some more fishing. Uh, what's our status in terms of food? Food is not looking very good. <laughs> Um, I mean, it's not too terrible, but at the same time, it's not great. Mixed meals, we can only make two of them. I guess we can give them, like, some grassy, like, uh, food for the meantime. Just to accommodate for these guys. There we go. Here's some grassy dishes. And I burned one of them, because I'm a genius. So, I'll let you guys clean that up. Anyway, I think helping them build raises faith. Yeah, I mean, yeah, building new uh, structures help them to, like, uh, increase their faith a bit. Actually, no, it just increases the faith of the entire, like, uh, cult overall, but that's just, like, the tr natural trait for all these followers anyway. Let's move all of the um, offering statues over here, so that way we can collect free stuff in an organized manner. This is pretty much, like, the place where you just get free sh stuff. The, the, these, like, uh, offering statues are just free, like, uh, just basically generating stuff for free, which is very funny. There's no, like, um, there's nothing really, like, bad about building more of these things, so I guess we could just build as many as we want, which is gonna be very funny. Uh, let's see here. Faith, here we go. We can build some more of these. What's our budget? Our budget looks pretty good. We can build a few more of this. We definitely would need more wood, uh, in the short term, so that's gonna be a lot of fun to deal with. I'll let these guys, ha uh, deal with that. Everything looks pretty, pretty much almost in order. We just need some more, uh, fish and stuff, so... Oh, for frick's sake, Agaris is already dead. Okay, let me just deal with Agaris then. Where's Agaris? There he is. Alright, prepare for some burial. Now I'll put them into the crypt. The crypt about, um, I, I can't read. Or I can't speak anymore. The crypt where we just put people in here in order to mourn for the dead, and then we just dump them into the fertilizer. <laughs> because we can do that. Alright, let's throw this into the fertilizer. Clean out, clean out the burnt food. And uh, let's quickly do our regular sermons, I guess. Get our sermons and our uh, doctrines up and running. <laughs> can't have a corpse lying around, that's true. Alright, give me your faith. Give me your faith, everybody. 
We can level up once again. Alright, what other weapons or abilities can we upgrade? We can get some more curses, or we can upgrade to our necromancy weapons, or necromantic weapons, which is going to be a bit interesting. I'll take that then. I mean, I don't know how helpful that will be in our um, sword quests, but well, we'll see. We can upgrade that, so we can finally throw in our last doctrine of today, which is Law and Order, or like the entire playthrough. And that's either faith through devotion or faith through donation. So you either have like a loyalty enforcer, which um, points a follower to become a loyalty enforcer, patrolling the cult and raising the loyalty of followers, or we become a tax enforcer, which is um, getting someone to like basically collect gold from other cult members. <laughs> either taxes or um, taxes or like uh, vibe checks, I guess. That's basically what these two choices are. Do we want to enforce taxes or enforce like vibe checks onto people? Um, I mean, I mean, I can understand the real life benefit of having the tax enforcer, but I kind of like, I kind of like having like someone just doing vibe checks all over the place. And plus, we can get gold easily and much more easily through. Um, through mini games and like uh, through selling fish, so I would probably just go for the vibe check instead. It'll be much more easier for everybody. All right, so let's do our daily rituals. We'll be quickly doing uh, a funeral to our. Actually, let's quickly do the loyalty enforcer. Let's see who we want to be turning into our loyalty enforcer of some kind. I guess Cinder, who's like level four or six now. H how the freak is Cinder leveling up so much? Jesus bloody Christ. So anyway, Cinder's gonna be the loyalty enforcer. <laughs> With their, like, uh, pog champ, like, mouth wide open. So it's lovely to see. Okay, and we don't even have enough bones. Are you kidding me? We don't even have enough bones to get, like, the ritual of the ocean's bounty. God dang it. Okay, fine. We'll have to, like, do some more, um... We'll have to do some more bloody, like, uh... Uh, campaigns, I guess, and get that all sorted out. But at least everyone's loyalty is gonna be slowly upgraded. Um, there were some people that were able to, um, upgrade their, uh, loyalty levels, so I'm gonna see if I can try and find where they are. It's so hard to, like, keep track of everybody around through here. Gosh, dang it. Uh, how much wood? We definitely need some more bricks, so we'll get that, uh, queued up for our refineries. We definitely would need to upgrade our refineries at some point. Alright, free stuff. Give me all that free stuff. Yeah. Alright, Cinder is uh, due to be leveled up at some point, so let's quickly get that done. There you go, level 7. I don't know how the hell you're still alive. You're pretty much close to like being old aged, but you know what? I'm not going to judge that. Alright, let's throw in our next body out of here so we can make sure the crypt is all nice and clean. And have that composted. But yeah, everyone's already constructing our new shared uh, accommodation. So while everyone's doing that, we'll quickly do some more traveling around through here. <laughs> He's gonna vibe check with his pog, that is true. That's basically what uh, Cinder's gonna be doing, it's just vibe checking. <laughs> using the pog. Alright. You! Listen, Mutton Chop, you owe me a ship! The bishops are nasty pieces of work, but they do a good enough job of keeping the waterways open and trade flowing around here. But if you go around killing them, it opens the gates for all sorts of monstrous beasts to start sinking my stock. Scary things they be, with gnashing teeth and odorous stinks and a face that could curdle, mur uh, curdle milk I can't read. Just like me mother-in-law, ha ha ha. So you best be making this right. Each time a bishop dies, a nasty beast called a witness takes its place. Lucky for you, Plumbo, nose folk will pay a pretty penny for the eye of a witness. You get me their eyes, I buy a new boat, and we'll call it square. All you need is a return to the places you've killed a bishop. I mean, I already, I already got that, so here, here you go. About time! Look at this squishy thing! They say these creatures have seen all there is to see. They stood in silent judgment for millennia. Just like me mother-in-law- Okay, anyway. Here, take this. Found it on my travels. Means not to me, but a crown bearer might have some use for it. Read more to go. Well, I appreciate the extra talismans, I guess. But hey, at least we can actually unlock another fleece. So you owe him a boat, uh, apparently. But I guess he needs to, like, get all the eyes of the witness in order to get that sword out. You got another eye? Plimbo's starting to see your appeal, ha! 
Truly, I can't read. Truly, safety and security is something Plimbo takes seriously, especially in the line of business. But I could never bow my head to another, so don't you think you'll be able to convert old Plimbo? Only two more to go. There's another talisman piece thing. Yeah, amazing. But anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you again with another talisman shard thing. So I'll take that. In the meantime, uh, what type of like uh, sort of ta ta uh, sorry, sorry, tarot cards do we want to like buy here? I mean, we only have like 104 gold, but we can probably find ways to get more stuff. And healing enemy, 10% chance to heal. Breakable rocks on touch. Oh, destroy breakable rocks on touch. Okay, this is basically the vampiric ability, but would be universal if we uh, have it, so... We might as well get that so we don't need to rely on getting vampiric weapons again. That'll be pretty helpful. And, um, I kind of wanted to do the explosive, like, roll. Because that kind of reminds me of, like, uh, a Hollow Knight for some reason. Or not Hollow Knight, um... I think it was Minecraft Dungeons that it kind of reminds me of. So that's gonna be pretty cool. And, uh, we can also, like, buy some, um, like, follower forms if we want to do that. Let me just uh, throw some of that over there. Ooh, carrots. <laughs> we, we get the carrot uh, follower form, of course. All right, that makes total sense. Peer into the darkness. Oh, it's you again. Little lamb, we meet again. A beautiful night, is it not? Does your cult flourish? Are they devoted? Are they strong? Well, you know what they say, the best thing a follower can do is follow. Say, how about another deal? I'm afraid the hunting tonight is sparse. Too many predators, not enough prey. If you give to me one of your loyal followers, I will give you something in return. Do you agree? Sure, I don't see how this would go horribly, horribly wrong. Hey, by the way, Cass. Let's see here, which is our most useless follower again? Uh, Poomer. Poomer sucks. Here you go. Something something mystical powers. Another satisfying deal. Here, take this. Now do you excuse me, I'm famished. Oh great, another like uh, talisman shard. <laughs> so we're pretty much sacrificed. Yeah, we're, we're just naturally just sacrificing one of our followers. Just no big deal. Alright, anyway, let me just quickly go back to um to our uh, definitely not a cult, or actually we should probably get some fish because we need to make sure everyone's fed uh, quite well. Anyway, let's quickly go over here. We can also buy fish, but everything's so bloody expensive, so it'll be better just to fish. All right, there we go. What type of fish is this with like very wacky timings here? No, just swordfish, great. Yeah, no hard feelings. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna feed you to this guy. I mean, then again, I just really I newly recruited you, so I also don't really give much of a shite. So anyway, how you doing, by the way, yeast? Hope your day's been doing all right. Come on, come on, fish me some fish. Oh great, now I'm finally getting lobster after all this time. Appreciate that game. It's not like I've been having a trouble, like having so much trouble trying to get lobster until now. But you know what, I appreciate the offer, I guess, uh, game. Anyway, before we end things off, let me just throw in an offering thing over there, and also go to the lighthouse again. Because I may or may not have gotten some wood. <laughs> Gasp! Our prayers have been answered! Thank you, O Bright One, for sending this lamb to save us. Now the pilgrim pilgrims can return to our shores. By restoring the light, we pledge ourselves to you. We are your unworthy servants, mighty lamb. We will pray to you and your great light in this shrine. Please bathe in our adoration. Well, I guess we get some free devotion stuff. Um, from them, like, uh, praying to us, I guess. But also, all their shops are going to be open as well. <laughs> we forget of a sin slam of light. Anyway, that's pretty cute. There also is some more tarot cards that we can also buy here. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some cards have uh, reveal fate. 25 coins each, which is not too bad. But at the same time, there's not really much we can do about them just yet, so... I mean, we're broke. We're broke out of, like, cash, so... We, we unfortunately cannot afford those just yet. But we're gonna get, we can easily get some gold out of, um... Out of just fishing a little bit. Oh, now I'm getting wood out of 
freaking bloody like uh, fishing, huh? Appreciate that game. School starts in like 10 minutes, so I can't stay for long. I wish I can catch more of your streams. That's no worries then, mate. Please focus on your classes, though. I like that Fisher dude's mustache. It says maturity. Jesus Christ. Does mustaches equal maturity? I mean, he's just, he's just a fellow there, just doing his fishing business. It's pretty fishy, not gonna lie. Alright. Let me try and get that large um, silhouette of a fish over in the front. God, the timings of the timings for fishing is sometimes very whack. And we only got just more tuna. Thank you very much, game. Appreciate that. And um, <laughs> you can see the lighthouse being animated as well, so that's pretty cool. Alright. With a newly acquired stock of fish, how's everyone doing? Everyone is beginning to slowly starve. That is not um, a good sign. So we'll have to do something about that at some point. Anyway, at least we're getting some nice devotion still. Uh, let's see here. We can also put through, like, uh, followers asleep over here, which is pretty neat. Ooh. Wait, can, we, can I not, like, select... Why can I not, like, allow, like, um... Well, I guess we can, like, l uh, allow, like, Twitch chat to decide which, um... Which, like, uh, followers would be sleeping inside the, uh, shared, um... Accommodation or tents, I guess? I mean, then again, I don't know if you guys can interact with it or not. Anyway, games be like, yep, you'll just you'll just live with that, I guess. How do we vote? There should be like an overlay over like the chat window, but if you're watching this on like um if you're watching this stream on mobile, it doesn't show up um the overlay. So you know what, forget it, I'm just gonna like throw these people in by default for the sake of our sanity. So that's all good. Alright, there we go. One person got leveled up, so that's pretty neat. Oh, for heaven's sakes, I just grabbed the same people back over again. Alright, so let's just quickly go down the list. 4K Specialist. Uh, the next person will be... Go on my stomach. Quar. And, um... Yeah, Fermino, I guess. I'm on PC, so it doesn't seem to work. Which is weird. Like, make sure, like, you're over- like, you're able to, like, um, see the overlays on, like, uh, Twitch.tv, and then you should be still fine. Uh, okay, let's see if we can try and, like, uh, save up a little bit more space. We can destroy all these extra bits of shelters here. Since we have plenty of, like, shelters already here already, so that's good to see. All the, uh, offering areas here are fine, so we can get some free stuff out of that. Always pretty funny for me to see that. Out outhouses are beginning to be a little bit full, so we'll set that up real quick. And now for food. What's our food supply looking like? Um, not great, but at the same time, we can also throw in some tasty fish meals. Why not? Let's see what we can get out of that. There's a chance of them vomiting immediately. All the followers or whatnot, but at the same time, they should also give us, like, some valuable materials. And I burned one, the freaking bloody dishes. So good at this game. Alright, we'll just have to make sure that someone is going to be helpfully uh, cleaning up the vomit in case someone does vomit. <laughs> Pray they don't get seafood allergies indeed. And someone managed to vomit, so if someone can clean that up, that'll be highly appreciated. Okay, so let's sell off a little bit of these expensive um, sort of fishies, but other than that, that looks pretty good. So far, supply of gold is not too bad, but not too amazing. Could be a little bit better. Um, I'm gonna presume that everyone is just having a little bit of break from, like, doing their work. So I'm just, like, uh, get more wood out of here. Panogur, I'm not gonna, like, talk to you for the meantime. Unless there's something really important that you need to tell me. What the bloody hell are you guys doing over there? Why are you all, like, stuck in this one small space here? What the heck? Alright, what do you want to say, Ponagur? All of us loyal followers would love to get together and have a splendid dinner. Do you think you could throw us a feast? Oh, I'll throw a feast at some point. What the hell are you guys doing over in this one corner here? What the heck are you guys doing? Okay, you go and worship, so that way you guys can, like, uh, chill a little bit, because you guys are not supposed to be stuck over here, and yet you guys are all stuck over here. God freaking damn it. Uh, refined materials, and you guys are just... 
guys are really getting a bit stupid, aren't ya? Okay, we need some more stone ready, so if you guys can help with that, that'll be highly appreciative. Alright, here's some more gold-related stuff we need to make. Alright, there we go. Turn these nuggets into gold plus. Yeah, I also need you, Cinder, to, like, uh, do some work as well. You should not be standing alone. Jesus, something has gone very whack with the AI at some point, which is very funny. But at the same time, also, it's pretty whack. Yeah, they're all vibing, I guess. They're all just vibing over in that one small area. Alright, new divine, uh, inspiration. So let's add a new farmer station so they'll be able to harvest the crops. Thank the bloody lord we can upgrade that. So let's get that bloody thing done and over with. Alright, let's upgrade our new farmer station. There we go. So that way everyone is able to harvest the crops a little bit more easier. And... I mean, we probably would need more wood before we need to build another uh, farming station later on, so I'll leave it where it is right now. Alright. Let me try and, like, quickly do a sermon so I can reset mostly everyone's positions a bit. Alright. Sermon time! <laughs> the game is slowly giving up. Yeah. It's beginning to get a little bit too big. But at the same time, it also could be how I, like, sort of plan my sort of cult in some ways. It's a little bit clunky in some ways, which I don't blame. Alright, let's see what our options are in terms of fleeces again. We either get a golden fleece, which increases uh, damage, but we also like take double damage. Um, cursed steel, double damage, but melee damage is reduced. When a tarot card is drawn, give maximum one deceased heart, but become poisoned if we get hit. Oh god, all these are like terrible or wacky trade-offs. So I don't really know if any of these are going to be amazing, but I'll probably go for the Golden Fleece. I want to kind of try out the Golden Fleece and see how well I go with um, taking like double damage, but increased amount of um, damage over time, I guess. So anyway, we'll see how that will work. Um, we are still broke on bones, so that'll be something that we'll have to do uh, right now. So yeah, let's get that sorted out then, I guess. While everyone builds our new farming area, um, yeah, I guess we'll just keep doing some more uh, Anchor Deep sort of uh, dungeon runs. I kind of want to play Knuckle Bones after a while, because I do need to get some more gold and such later on, but eh, I'll probably leave, um, or probably play some Knuckle Bones later on, I guess. Okay, Necromantic Axe 10. When slaying a foe, chance of summoning a ghost that will attack nearby enemies. So, that'll be pretty cool. And we also get, like, uh, the tentacle ability over here. So yeah, time for us to see if we, uh, don't die in the next few seconds, I guess. You can see on, like, the top left the, uh, the damage multiplier, so let's see how things would go. Let's just uh, avoid dying for the next few seconds. Ah! And I'm already taking damage. I'm already good at this game. Thank you very much. Well, I'm already in a good start. I'm already taking damage. God freaking dang it. Alright, get some free fish out of these guys. Alright, let's just keep going and avoid all of that. There we go. That's a pretty easy kills, honestly. 20% damage. This is basically a no-hit playthrough, isn't it? The more I think about it. The more we, like, um... Okay, Jesus Christ. Okay, now I need to, like, focus a little bit. There we go. Where are those, where are those, like, poltergeists when I need them? There we go. God, that's... It's so hard to, like, keep track of if I'm, like, uh, doing well or not. Jesus. Or, like, able to, like, um, avoid death all the time. Alright. Time for us to get a new tarot card. Uh, rolling into enemies that actually would be very useful. Alright, being able to roll against enemies and deal damage is going to be very useful for us. Alright, give me some ghosts. Oh god damn it, it's the splitter freaking orb, guys. Alright, there we go, 75%. Is there a maximum on how much damage we are able to, like, multiply? Because I feel like there is going to be, like, a limit into how much damage we can multiply, I guess. But it'll be pretty, it'll be pretty overpowered to have, like, this uh, gradually build over time anyway. Alright, 
Ow! Oh, actually, Mancha Lake uh, hit that very well. There we go. So far, so good. We able to heal up half a heart, so they'll take that. And we pass through the first room here. And we've managed to fully heal up, which is pretty cool. Oh, and now we got ourselves the vampiric abilities, which is very uh, helpful. Okay, what the hell is in the middle over here? Why is there a big question mark here? Oh, great, some more lore. He was unlike... Oh my god, I can't read. He was unlike the rest of his kin. For the others dealt with flux, chaos, famine, pestilence... Pest pestilence? Pestilence? War. Things in which their const constancy must transpose. I cannot read words. Jesus. And yet he was the inevitable, the obstinate and irresistible, the one who waits. Truly peculiar, twould then seem his appetency to invite the noble and the new, break ancient vow and promedial bond alike. Traditions stagnate and appetites augment, nonetheless. Doubt f tears faith asunder. Cool, appreciate the lore. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I pretty much almost understood, like, none of, um, or mostly, un I, I, I didn't really understand most of the entire, uh, wordings there. But hey, it's some, it's some lore stuff, so that's all that matters. Okay, let's see if we can try and save another follower. Because we have so much capacity to, like, accept new followers, so... Surely we'll be able to, like, uh, uh, get some more space for them, right? Alright. There we go, 150% damage. Alright, there we go. God, I have to, like, deal with these freaking splitters! No! Avoid dying to those orbs. Alright, there we go. There we go. Be careful about those orbs. We can almost one-hit these guys. Oh, great, it's the freaking crabs. Of course we have to deal with the bloody crabs. Alright. Alright, there we go. And that's all cleared out. Nice. I have absolutely no idea what follower form you are, but you're going into the interdimensional portal of doom. So there you go. Amazing. Alright, let's quickly go and uh, harvest some more bones here, because I desperately need more bones. And let's see if we can try and get a relic over here. What type of relic is this? Also, Twitch chat is deciding my fate. Great. Freezes time for a short duration. I'll take that, because that's the only thing I can use right now. So anyway, let me just quickly uh, kill off all these guys again. Appreciate all of these uh, things here. And we'll continue on. We're still, like, we still need to do two more runs until we finally, like, defeat um, uh, Calamar, but at the same time, it's going to take some time. All right. No idea what the Twitch chat has voted for, but at least we got a demon. So, that's pretty helpful, I guess. Ow. Okay, we have to kill that, like, freaking ma uh, mage of some kind, because he's beginning to heal a little bit. There we go. Jesus, these guys are pretty uh, tough to, like, uh, tough to handle after a while. All right. Let me just quickly, uh... Get there some more materials. Our damage so far is 300 times, or 300%, so we can one-shot most of these guys, which is really funny. Avoid the orbs! I hate dealing with the orbs. Like, dodging orbs is not really my specialty. Then again, I also could be just bad at the game when it comes to dodging stuff, so it could also be that. Alright, let me just get some more bones. And we're gonna go up a little bit. Aha, not a tire card. Gain an extra heart. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll lo I will happily gain an extra half a heart, even though I'm not gonna like um, try and take damage as much as possible. All right. Okay, let's freeze time a little bit so I can one shot these guys. Lamau. How the frick did you manage to teleport all the way over there? Huh? That's not allowed. Teleportation is not allowed. How are you how are you able to teleport over there? Huh? Okay, anyway. Let's go up over in this direction. Oh Jesus Christ. Alright. This is what we call an absolute wacky mess. 
If I, if I manage to take damage over here, I wouldn't be surprised, but Jesus Christ. Okay. There we go, nice. What weapons do we have now? Okay, we got the hammer that deals 23 damage. Or we uh, get the uh, cleansing fire, which allows us to shoot three uh, projectiles at once. I probably would take that. All right. There's a half heart over here that we're not going to use, and we're going to see if our um, if we're going to see if our hammer will deal a lot of damage to um, whoever is going to be in the boss fight. Whether this is going to be a long boss fight or not is going to be depending on how fast I can get through this. All right, let's go. Oh God, it's the bursty freaking orbs. This game really, really seems to like accommodate for like uh, those types of players. Okay. Okay. Oh Jesus Christ almighty. Okay, there goes our uh, ability. Let me see if I can try and like uh, do some hits. Well, we're not gonna easily cheese this guy anymore because we just took damage, but oh well. At least we're still alive. All right, there we go. Just absor just make sure we dodge those orbs, and we'll be fine. So far, like dodging past the orbs is a very viable. It's actually something that you can do. So we can easily sort of like avoid the orbs in some ways. Okay, and now you're dead. Thank you very much. You destroyed my 300% freaking bloody light damage multiplier. But at the same time, at the same time, uh, you had a good run. But now you're dead. Let's get ourselves some cauliflower seeds, some more gold and some bones, and uh, yeah, we'll just um, keep going, I guess. One more room to go, and that is where Calamar is going to be settling. But I'll, I'll keep this golden fleece. This golden fleece is pretty fun. It just incentivizes you to try and like do a no-hit playthrough, <laughs> so you can like uh, I I guess like benefit from the high damage multiplier uh, multiplier. But at the same same time, it's it, it's pretty stressful. It can be pretty stressful at some times. Alright. Let's see here. Let's quickly get ourselves all the devotion here. It does take a while to like collect all of the devotion, which I kind of feel like uh, should be a little bit faster or should be a better way of like uh, dealing with. But at the same time, it's, it's pretty cool. Alright. Let's also get our free stuff over here. That gives you zero punishments for having whatsoever. Uh, look at all of our, uh, look at all of our cute looking, uh, sort of subjects here. Just all vibin'. Alright. Timber says, please spare me. Alright, into the cult you go. I have no idea if anyone wants to join the follower raffle, so... Uh, you know, I'll, I'll leave the follower, uh, follower raffle, like, open for a bit. If there's anyone wanting to, like, uh, join the cult under their Twitch username or stuff like that. Just make sure you're watching this on the Twitch desktop version of, yeah, Twitch. And then uh, put your cursor over the overlay, and you should see like a call the lamb symbol somewhere. It should be pretty obvious, but at the same time, it depends on where you're watching this. Really, kind of like that sort of like lo-fi, sort of um, background filter. Is that the right word? Just like a lo-fi filter in the background. I can't, I can't describe like a lot of audio sort of things, but it's nice and like uh, serene listening to. Um, the music during the night. Anyway, no one seems to be wanting to join the raffle, so we'll just uh, keep keep you as normal, I guess, uh, Timber. All right, uh, tend to the available um, plot of land we have now. That allows you to harvest all of our uh, sort of uh, crops, because A, you can do that. Uh, speaking of crops, we should probably uh, build a new um, sort of plot of land so we can accommodate uh, even more crops. Oh, frick, I already messed this up. Hang on. Uh, cancel. That's not correct. Let me just quickly get some more wood so we can, like, uh, set up the new crop areas here. Alright, so we need to build a new sort of uh, seed silo. So we'll build one uh, somewhere around through here. Put one right over there. Do we need to build a fertilizer? Uh, I kind of don't need to build a fertilizer, but at the same time, we might as well. Alright, see you later then, avoidable glitch. Hopefully, see you next time. Alright, set that up. We'll build a new farming area somewhere. Eh, it doesn't need to be completely like asymmetric, so we'll just put it right over here. Alright, 
build a scarecrow to avoid birds being absolute arses. So, one, two, uh, frick. I'll just put it smack down right over here, and then we'll put in some new plots of, uh, farmland, I guess. With the available resources that we still have left. There we go. So we should have, like, a nice healthy supply of crops that we can use for food or some. Why can I not go to this one plot of land? Thank you. Alright, there we go. Throw in some more stuff around here. Da, da, da. Leave me alone. Thank you. This can be a little bit spotty at best. Alright, and we're broke on coins. Okay, fine. I'll sell off all of our fish. So that way we can actually have enough supply of food. Or, like, supply of, like, uh, currencies with us. Alright, that's fine. We can also get rid of some of the follower meats, because I don't care. And, uh, throw in some more crops here. There we go. Everything should be pretty much in order. And we'll just let everyone, uh, construct all that. In the meantime, we'll get a new follower in. Baalzebub. Interesting name. Uh, into the thing you go. Oh, look at that. Yarar is finally back into old age again. Praise the Lord, they're going to be finally dead at some point. Alright, give me all the refined materials. Alright, that's a lot of gold for us to work with. Alright, everything seems to be pretty much in order. Doesn't seem to be anything, like, of note in terms of, like, uh, the cult needs or any sort of, like, faith problems or anything like that. We definitely would need some more wood, so that's something that we'll need to focus our, uh, supply on. Uh, gold bricks will increase our supply of gold bricks. But for the meantime, we just need to monitor our, um, use of wood, because we definitely would need some more wood at some point in the future. So that's gonna be lovely. Alright, everyone's just vibing all over the place, which is good to see. Everyone's are also constructing the new farm areas, which is nice. The outhouses are beginning to back up again, so... Great, appreciate that game. Uh, what can we... who can we quickly level up? Warwar is about to soon pass away, so we might as well, like, uh... quickly do some confessions from there. What is the red crown? Bah! Th that's my response. Brilliant words. And we can finally uh, level up Roar. Nice. Get some extra devotion out of that. Alright, so far so good. Boy pulls already off. So now all we need to do now is just do our regular sermon stuff. Sermon, sermon, sermon stuff. And we can also do like a feast as well, so that way everyone is well fed. Well, we go for another uh, anchor deep, or actually not just an anchor deep, we'll probably do some, like, um, kn knuckle bones sort of, like, bets and see how things would go with that. Which is gonna be very close to gambling, but wh whatever, it's, it's, it's fine gambling. Alright, feasting ritual. Let's get our, our, uh, food spirits up. Some people here are available to be leveled up at some point. Um, yum, 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 yum. Nice and tasty. Alright, so that's pretty much good, and that's pretty much all we need to do for our agenda. So we'll get ourselves some, like, our, uh, Titan offerings, and we're pretty much good around through here. Alright. Thank you, leader. My faith had you has been justified. We appreciate that, I guess. Alright, we have everything looking as good as it could be, and the farming areas are currently under construction. Let's, uh, quickly have a nice, uh, check with, um, the Lonely Shack and see how everything is, uh, going over there. I mean, I don't think there really is anything else we need to do, I guess. So let's take a look at the Lonely Shack. Do do do. Is there anything around through there? I don't think there is anything of note around through there. Alright. We lamb! Glad you can make it. How about a match? Well, 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 child, you found your way over here. Fancy a match? Yep, yep, I know. You guys really want me to, like, uh, team up with you guys, so let's see. Let's see what you guys have. You got Flinky and Clonko and Bop. Alright, let's go with Flinky. Let's see what your, uh, skills are in terms of knucklebones, uh, Flinky. The lamb rolls first. 
All right, let's see what our number is. We'll put two in the middle. Time for some minigame fun. Can we try and not uh, perish while playing uh, Knuckle Bones? Well, there's only one way to find out, I guess. Here, I'll destroy your four because frick you. Okay, you have a nice one. Okay. Um, I might as well sacrifice my fours. I don't know if that'll be very beneficial for me. All right. I see that. Here's two sixes. I see you've bought in two fives. Well, I'll destroy both of your fives. Haha! -ha. Just uh, don't bring out your f another five. Oh, you destroyed my five. God freaking dang it. Okay. Surely you would not get a six, right? Right? You wouldn't get a six. Right? I don't, I don't want to put everything in one basket. But I'm going to put everything in one basket. <laughs> But then again, four is not a great number to uh, work with anyway. Uh, I'm gonna destroy that too. Why not? Oh, you could have just destroyed my threes over there, but I guess you had like some restraint. How about a four over there. Oh, you destroy my two. How inconvenient. How inconvenient that you destroy my two. Throw in a five over there. And I got another four over here. Easy, easy destruction to, uh, <laughs> to Flinky, I guess. See, I'm a natural. I'm so good at this game. What? I suppose you better take this. Ooh, free tarot card. I mean, sure, I'll take that. Immune to poison. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'll take that, uh, sort of, uh, immunity any time of the day. Alright, so let's go for Clunko and Bop. How difficult would it be to face against two minds against the the lamb probably a lot actually I would probably get completely and utterly destroyed by them I right, throw two over there five over there uh, six over here three over there I'm trying to make things everything uh, a little bit flat let's destroy that four because frick you three over there that's a double three I can throw in a double two over there. If you destroy my twos, that's also going to be fine. Thank you. All right. Since I wanted this game to last for quite some time, I'm, I'm just going to keep, like, destroying your stuff. Oh, frick you. Frick you, Clunko and Bob. You know what? Frick your threes. Frick your threes, then. Okay, you tell me to frick off my fours. That's, that, that's fair game here. Frick off your six. How about that? Okay, one over there. Uh, we could throw in double twos if you want to destroy those twos. That's completely fine by me. All right. Uh, but the one where right next to the three, because that might be helpful for us. All right. I'm tempted to destroy the five. <laughs> okay, I'll destroy the five. There you go. Go ahead, destroy my one. I don't give a shite. I'll just um. Yeah, I'll just destroy. I'll just destroy your four over there. Okay, destroy my three. That you know what? That's fine. I'm I'm not mad or anything like that. Just do, just don't roll a five. Just whatever you do, do not roll a five. Why did you not roll a two over there? All right. Uh, since you're not gonna put anything over there, I might as well build this area up. Double fours. Yep. Yeah, I'll throw in a double five over there. Why do you want to destroy my twos? Fine. Well, I, I'm just gonna win then. Rest in peace, Clunko and Bop. See, I, I'm so good at this game. I'm so good at, like, knuckle bones. No one can ever stop me. No one can ever stop me. Ha! Not bad. Take this. I'll try to win him back. But I don't think I can lose another hand, blasted shrummy. Anyway, another tarot card for me. And this ability allows us to, um, get five fervor when hit. Which I guess is useful. If we ever get hit. Haha. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I'll take it anyway. Alright. Nice to meet you guys. Probably will not throw and uh, bet on uh, on gold with any of you guys. Because that will be a bit of a waste of time. But other than that, I appreciate playing with you guys. Alright. Let's go through the last dungeon run of Anchor Deep. And see how things would go. But I might as well do a quick check with like um, the cult members. To make sure everyone is not actively trying to go into Sentin stuff. But everyone seems to be pretty much, like, uh, good and orderly. Is there anyone else I need to level up? No bird would need to be leveled up, so I'll quickly do that. 
Here we go. Uh, level up. Anyone else need to level up? You two are just vibing over there. Okay, that's pretty cool then. Free stuff. Get some more free stuff from there. Uh, but everyone seems to be pretty much um, just chilling about. Let's just throw in some more gold over there. Is there anything else we need to manufacture? Uh, nothing too much over there. How's our wood supply going? Our wood supplies are very bad, so if we have a good supply of wood over here that we can grab, that'll be appreciated. But yeah, we'll just have to monitor that um, later on. Anyway, in the meantime, let's go back to Anchor Deep and finally defeat the last um, dungeon round and see how things would go from there. Hopefully nothing too wacky is going to happen. Be gone, beast! Find satisfaction elsewhere! You will not cross the threshold of my temple. Well, too bad. I'm going to try and, like, defeat you anyway, so... Goodbye. Alright, what is our weapons here? Necromantic Gauntlet, which is interesting, and also Divine Blizzard. Alright. Let's see if these things are going to be helpful for us in some ways. Alright. Give me some bones as well, because I also need to make sure I have enough bones for us to uh, work with. Oh great, Horwar's already dead. God freaking dang it. Why do you have to be dead right now, Horwar? I'm currently in a freaking bloody like mission here. Alright. I'll deal with you later on. At some point of time. Alright. There we go. Make sure these guys are all blown up to smithereens. There we go. So many like hidden bodies around through here. That's very bizarre. Okay, let's go down, question mark? Aha, tarot card. Let's see here. What's a good tarot card that we can get? Let's get an extra heart, because the more hearts the better. But then again, we we're also trying to, like, uh, not get hit uh, whatsoever, so... Yeah, we'll see how things would go. Alright. It also doesn't help that these guys are just, like, one-shot kill. Um, to deal with, so... Oh well. At least we're one shot kill to deal with. Alright, there we go. And all those explode, and I get a free tarot card thanks to the Twitch integration. Oh wow. When down to like half health, all uh, enemies will be dealt 10 damage instead of just uh, 2. Uh, very cool, I guess. I mean, then again, I would try not to like die regardless, but anyway, I'll take that. Okay. Oh, great, you're here. What do you want, Shimura? Five becomes four, becomes three, becomes two, becomes one, becomes nothing. Calamar was frightened of the Red Crown. His fear made a coward of him. My door is the next to be knocked upon. Knock, knock, the lamb comes to raise. End of days, end of days. Well, nice to meet you as well, uh, Shimura. And I see your beasts are also here to, like, uh... Say hello, I guess. Try not to die challenge, uh, Spider Edition. Because I remember Shimura has, like, tons of spiders to deal with. So, there we go. Oh, for frick's sakes. Alright, we just have to make sure we, uh, be careful with uh, when it comes to those attacks. Jesus. There we go. Gosh, these are, this is gonna be, like... Anxiety inducing after a while. Alright. And we get another tarot card. What is this? 20% chance of getting a pur uh, not purple heart. A blue heart. Uh, from after killing an enemy. That will be very useful. Okay. Which pathway do I want to go? Let's go and get some meat. <laughs> that sounds whack. But yeah. Getting some free food over here will be nice. Alright, give me some free food. Free food, that's actually not a lot of free food, but whatever. Nice to get some, like, uh, meat, I guess. Alright, it's you again. No. Oh, for a life of sensations, or the heart, or r rather than a thought, I can't read. Um, let's go for follower form, which is an anchor deep follower form, so I'll, I'll take that. At least, with, at least anyone or any follower would have a better choice of, uh, um, choosing who they want to be, I guess. Don't need to heal, so we are not able to, like, absorb that heart, but that's okay. 
Let's go to the relic shop or the relic area again. And we got ourselves, um, I forgot whatever this blade thing was again. God freaking dang it. <laughs> I keep forgetting what this uh, ability was. Uh, yeah, the deals damage with the amount of, according to how much tarot cards you have, which is uh, pretty helpful. Anyway, I'm just going to kill all these guys real quick, because that increases the damage multiplier, uh, multiplier in some ways. Thank you very much, game. All right. Second to last chamber. Let's see what we can uh, do around through here. All right. Oh, it's you again. What is this this time? 50% chance to heal a heart or 50% chance to gain a spirit heart. I mean, I don't know if, like, healing a heart will be useful, but... You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll use this. All right, Little God likes uh, Chemex followers. The Chemex mates them myself. Well, I'm gonna kill them all because I need more. Um, I, I need more. Uh, 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 play power. Yes, I need. I need more power by killing your followers. <laughs> Don't mind me. Okay, let's roll this. What does this do? Nothing. It's just supposed to. It's supposed to heal me. I think whatever that dice roll was. God freaking dang it. Anyway, that was useless. Um. Anyway. Oh, great. More, more paths, and this is like the most fine dirt flooring that I got as well. Appreciate that game. Alright, what does this tarot card give us? Oh, the ability to roll into enemies again. You know what? I'll take that. I'll take that. Okay, so far so good. We can almost one-hit these uh, enemies. Well, we can only two-hit them, so that's better than nothing, I guess. But I'll take it. I'll take it anyway. 300%. 300% damage right now. So hopefully we'll not be able to get uh, hit in the next few seconds. God damn it. These guys are gonna be a little bit tougher. Ah, dang it, no! My multiplier, no! I'm so mad. Oh well. Oh well, we, we tried our best to like get, get like, a hunt, like a 400% sort of multiplier, but alas. We had to get completely and utterly ruined in some ways. Oh, don't you dare heal them. Don't you dare heal these orbs. Orb shooting idiots. Alright. Come on. Get these guys killed. Thank you. Is there any better weapons I can get? Vampiric Gauntlet or the Flaming Shot? Ooh. I mean, I probably would be fine with, like, the frozen sort of, um, explosives, though. So, but I'll take that. Um, I guess. I don't know if I would be benefiting still with the amount of, uh, uh necromancy, um, sort of ghosts that I keep getting. So, I'll take that then. Alright. Alright. There we go. This guy's out of the way. Another turret card. Mute to poison, nice. Gotta love that tarot card for like. I mean, then again, it probably would not help us too much, but at the same time, it's it's a thought that counts. All right, our chamber done. Let's say hello to Calamar. We don't have the 400% sort of abilities, unfortunately, but at least we're able to like uh, continue on. All right, let's quickly do a roll of the dice. And that just heals us like, like, oh, we actually get like another heart, actually. That's pretty helpful. Okay. I think we have like a 20% chance of like healing hearts as well, which is very funny. So, if we have to like deal with multiple enemies, at least we'll be able to have enough, um, enough like, uh, like healing capacities or healing abilities for us to survive, I think. Like, surely with the amount of tarot cards and, like, uh, weapons we have, we will be able to survive the next few hits. Alright. God freaking dang it, no. Bad. Bad, you stupid freaking, like, uh, ninjas. Oh, there goes all of my freaking bloody, like, multipliers for damage. God freaking dang it. What is this? Freeze all active enemies, which is the toe of the ice, glo uh, ice gore. That'll be very helpful, actually. Alright. Anyway, we'll still need to up still need to increase our damage multiplier at some point. God dang it. Alright. 
Alright, blow up those guys out. At least this would hopefully uh, increase the multiplier a bit. Eh, not too much, fortunately. It's over here. Ah, Naratara card. I'll take that. Drop explosive when you roll at five, at five seconds? I'll definitely take that one. Don't mind if I do. Did I accidentally take the wrong tarot card? Surely not. Uh, yeah, we got the right one. So if we roll, we should be able to drop a bomb. Which is uh, pretty helpful, with only a five second cooldown. So I'll take that. Yeah, it just just mind the bomb over there. Just yeah, just don't mind the bomb. Yeah, just don't just don't mind that. Just don't mind the bomb that's like right next to you. That that, that that's just purely there for aesthetics. Purely there for aesthetics. Don't worry about that. All right, get that guy out of here. God, why do you have to be so big and annoying? Okay. Okay. Ow. Freaking gosh, dang it. Okay. Really makes, like, uh, dodging these freaking guys so freaking annoying. Alright, he's finally gone. And he's finally gone, thank god. But Jesus, these guys are really gonna be a bit tough. Uh, Bane Dagger or Blade? Let's go for the Crusader's Blade. I think we have, like, enough healing capacity in some ways to, like, uh, last the next few fights, but I, at the same time, I also do need to, like, um, attack people, like, with a fast enough rate. Alright. Here we go. Here comes the boss fight. I think we'll be very ill-prepared, because we do not have our damage multiplier with us anymore. But at the same time, we do have some pretty good tarot cards and abilities, so I think we should be fine. I hope. We should have, like, good enough abilities to, like, last the next few, um, next few, um, fights, hopefully. Insignificant critter, you will learn your place. You do not understand, Lamb. Heed my warning and stay away. Well, too bad, Calamar. You're pretty much screwed against my eyes, I guess. And now you become a mutated squid. Oh, you also have, like, multiple weapons. That is not helpful. That's not helpful whatsoever. Alright. Hopefully I can actually, like, increase my damage multiplier by, uh, going through here. But what the heck? Okay. Alright. Need to be very careful with all these sort of, um... Oh, Jesus Christ, the amount of, like, bloody, like, things over here. These old active enemies are frozen. Ow! You be very careful. Okay, now you're just like becoming a Gatling gun. Sure, that's fine. That's something that I'm totally fine with. Yep, definitely not. All right. Ow! Jesus. Yeah, this is not going good. This is not looking good, guys. The fact that I have to deal with, like, multiple orb sort of attacks, as well as, like, the stupid, like, uh, sword attack is, uh, not great. Alright. Just need to be very careful. Alright. Okay. Alright. Down to half a heart, which is not good. Jesus! Alright. This is what we call a very inconvenient situation where I'm like, kinda screwed. God damn it, the freaking blade orbs. Yeah, it's really tough. It's freaking bloody tough. Jesus. I'm trying to do like a no hit run against that. It's very hard. God freaking dang it. Probably wasn't wise to like uh, trade off the weapons with something else, but yeah, that is. Oh, really incredibly, um, difficult to, uh, dodge, so that'll be something I'll need to, like, uh, get used to. Alright, let's move Horwar back into the crypt again, so that they can get some actual rest. And, uh, see if we can also, like, upgrade a little bit of our cult as well, hopefully? Hopefully that's gonna be possible. 
Let's see here. Composter, not really helpful. Trap Scarecrow, which might be useful. And also a kitchen, that'll be very useful um, in the next stage. Lumberyard, Lumberyard 2 to get some more Lumberyard stuff. Uh, Shrine Flame, Tabernacle. What does the Tabernacle do, actually? Oh, well, it's actually just like extra space for devotion, so not really too more useful. Alright, ritual cooldowns. Reduce the ritual cooldowns by 50%, which would be pretty nice. So I guess we have to, like, uh, unlock the uh, tabernacle then. Alright, fine, I'll unlock that. And we also unlock the next tier of um, things, which is pretty cool. More. Followers can collect and store bodies while you're away here, but it must be empty before it is full or cause illness. Oh, for frick's sakes, that will be very bloody useful for us. So I'll have to, like, uh, unlock that at some point. But hey, at least all of our, like, um, all of our crops here that are still somewhat available have been fertilized. I should probably put some more seeds here, actually, because that'll be pretty beneficial. Get some more fertilizer over there, get some cauliflower plants and some more camellia seeds over there, and then throw in some more berry seeds over here. Why not? That'll be very helpful. And uh, before we go, we might as well upgrade... The... Uh... Frick, I do not have enough wood. God bloody dang it. I need some more refined wood. So hopefully make sure that we still have enough wood for our lumber yards uh, later on, because I need to build some new ones. Alright. Some resources out of that. Mm -mm. Some more of that. Get some more coins out of that. But everyone seems to be pretty much doing alright. I hope. Okay. Upgrade that, and we should be pretty much good to go. Bed has managed. Two beds have managed to collapse, so thank you very much. So I'll have to repair that a little bit. Lovely. Um, can we actually upgrade the uh, all the beds into like? Uh, oh no, we don't actually have the uh, the new beds like fully unlocked, so we can't actually upgrade all the beds just yet. But so far, they're not too bad. I think. Alright, let's quickly do another servant. Make sure everyone's all leveled up and all that stuff. Alright, there we go. And we're able to get some new abilities. Uh, zealous weapons. Collected fur bar to increase your divine inspiration bar. Which might be helpful. Let's get some new curses though. Because honestly, getting some more choices than curses will be somewhat helpful in some ways. That's been finally unlocked, and then we have two more choices there. Anyway, glory to the lamb, la 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 la. Thank you very much for all your faith. Ah. Everyone's happy about that. Okay. Everything else seems to be pretty much good. Everyone is beginning to starve a little bit, but luckily for us with our supply of food, we should be pretty much uh, good in terms of like uh, food supply. Modest Bix meal looks pretty uh, appetizing, so we can probably handle all of that. All right, and then we can throw some in some more berry, uh, berry meals, I guess. Do do do. Here you go, everybody. Here's some meals. There we go. Oh, yeah, everything thing everything should be uh, pretty much in order. Get some more stone here, get some more stone over there. Now surely with like um, all this food set up, everyone should be like uh, fully fed and whatnot, I hope. Anyway, time for us to go back into the bloody like uh, anchor deep area once again and face god knows whatever bloody boss fight we have to deal with in terms of Calamar. Uh, it's gonna be a bit of a nightmare, but we'll see. Here we are again. We have Death Attendant, so a devastating melee attack that also summons ghosts from slain enemies. That's gonna be a bit interesting. And we also got ourselves the sword, uh, once again, so we'll see if that is gonna be still beneficial for us in increasing our uh, damage multiplier, but only one will tell. Ah, uh, great. Ow! Frick! He's been taking damage now, then, uh, never. Alright, throw some necromancy attacks. There we go. We just kill off these stupid ninjas once again. Bah, bah, bah. There we go. 
Yeah, a bit feisty to deal with, and also the timings can be still a bit rough, but we're still making it. Alright, 35%. And we get ourselves a first tarot card. Gain hash, half, uh, extra half a heart or fervor. Actually, fervor will be much more useful for us, considering that we're trying to do like a no-hit run at this point onwards. Alright. There we go. And you can die, thank you very much. Surely we should be able to, like, get through this without, uh, too much struggle. And also half a heart. Alright, there we go. This guy is strong as frick. But he's still dead. Haha. -ha. Hey, anyway, hope you're doing pretty nice so far in RDCA. Shenanigans have been committed by me. Interesting. Alright, um... Destroy all the skeletons, get some more crystals over there. Oh, we got some, like, chests over here. Anyway, I don't mind that. Because we have, like, a little bit of a break and very interesting sort of, um, trees that surround this room. Uh, anyway. There's no, like, uh, parrying or anything like that in this game, so... I don't know what you're trying to talk about, um, in our NRD. Okay, how in the bloody hell do I deal with this guy? How about I just, like, whack them normally with that? Oh, Jesus. Anyway, we'll just have to, uh... Avoid those spikes. Jesus Christ. Yes, I, I can probably tell it's like an Elder Ring joke, but it's not really helpful. Alright, there we go. Somehow I did not manage to take damage after, like, standing on top of those spikes. That is interesting. Alright, break all of that. And we'll just, uh, continue on over here. Oh, another necklace. <laughs> more necklaces to give to my followers, even though I keep forgetting to give them more necklaces. Anyway, whatever. What does this question mark mean? Oh, for the love of flippin' god. Seriously? Alright, sudden boss battle. Ow! Oh, it's freaking you again. I hate you so much. Sun boss battle. Alright. Alright. Alright, what are you gonna be doing? Yep. More orbs. That is what to that's what I would expect. Alright. Oh Jesus Christ, what the hell is that? I think we actually have, like, the Necromancer ability, or something, that's applied to this freaking boss fight all of a sudden. But okay, I'll take that. You know what, I'll take that anyway. Alright. The more, like, uh, <laughs> damage multipliers I can gain, the better, I guess. Which will be pretty helpful. Alright, there we go. Or avoid those blue fricks. These blue fricks really remind me of like um, of like a certain like uh, enemy in uh, Hollow Knight for some reason. I mean, then again, they are pretty much like uh, relatable cousins of being like annoying dodging fricks. Ugh! Gotta avoid those freaking bloody like uh, those like orbs. Jesus! I'm so bad at dodging orbs. There we go. What the hell was that bloody boss fight? At least we get, like, a lot of free hearts, but at least we got 200% uh, damage out of that. Even though it had to be reset at the beginning of the fights, but you know what? I'll, I'll take it. I'll take whatever the frick that fight was. Jesus Christ. Alright. Poison all active enemies. I'll take that while I kill off all your followers again, because I'm able to do that in order to uh, increase my damage. So I'll just take that then. Okay, let me just murder all your followers. Don't, mor don't worry about me, Kamak. Alright, second to last room. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong going to the second to last room? 300%, almost 300% like a multiplier um, in damage. What could possibly go wrong still? Actually, a lot of things. Actually, I can think of a lot of things that could happen. God freaking damn it. And there goes our damage multiplier. It's all the way down to 0%. God freaking dang it. God! I hate those freaking blade orbs. 
I also don't like how they just don't show you what the orbs would be, or where the orbs will be, like, shot at until the last minute. I hate it so freaking much. Alright. There we go. Okay, just have to be a bit careful. God freaking dead. I'm so good at this game. I am so good at, like, dodging these stupid bloody yellow orbs. So good at this game. Holy frick. <laughs> I can't even get through the bloody freaking bloody second to last stage. I'm so mad. Ah! Alright. Continuing on again. Uh, everyone is still doing alright. No one is currently uh, in the process of revolting yet, so that's good. Some people look to be, be able to, like, uh, upgrade, so, or level up pretty soon, so let's uh, so we'll quickly do that. There you go. Alright, what's our wood supply looking like? Looking pretty alright. What do you want, Nomber? Fodril insulted me. I demand satisfaction. I wish to face them in the fight pit. Alright then. Nomber and Fodril will be going to the fight pit, I guess. For reasons that I do not fully know. But, oh well. At least you'll be going to the fight pit. Uh, let's get some more pumpkins over here. There we go. How's our crops looking like? It's not looking too bad, so that's pretty good. Get some free stuff over here. So that's pretty good. Now we just have to wait for the night to pass by, otherwise they'll be mad that I'm doing, like, stuff during the night. Ah, uh, it's always very annoying. But it's better than nothing. Okay. Everything is pretty much in order. Um, yeah, nothing too, uh, nothing too much to really add to this place here. We could probably add, a, like, another shared, um, uh, sleeping facility here, I guess. Because that would be pretty cute. Alright, let's get some more stone here, because we have a plentiful amount of stone. Wood supplies are still a bit eh, which is still something I'm a bit worried about, but we'll probably, like, get through with that. Alright, that's all sorted out. Should I get some more food? Uh, yeah, I should probably set up some more food then. 5% uh, causing illness, 25% chance of uh, giving us valuable resources, which again, I don't really know if that's going to be really worth it. Uh, what's over here again? Stingy meat gruel. That just gives you a chance of like getting them exhausted for whatever reason, so I don't know if that's going to be worth it. Anyway, I'll make some meals while everyone's sleeping. Do, do, do making some meals, making some meals, so that way they don't suddenly revolt against me. I should probably, like, get rid of the, uh, this fleece, because at the same time, it, while it's pretty nice, I don't think it'll be very helpful, um, in terms of, like, the boss fight later on. It's a nice fleece, which is good for, like, clearing out the other, like, stages, but for the sake of our, um, for the sake of our sanity, it's probably not great for us. So I'll probably just stick to our normal fleece. Good for, like, no-hit runs, though. Why the frick are you all suddenly awake again? Oh, now you want to just suddenly to eat your- okay. Okay, sure, you you guys were just, like, all sleeping before, but I guess you suddenly realized that you need to eat, so... You know what, I, I'm not gonna judge that. I'm not gonna judge that whatsoever. Surely. Alright, everyone get some sleep. The daytime should arrive in, like, literally two seconds, and th there you go. Now get to work. Everyone must now get to work right now. Actually, I can, like, no, I, I need everyone to be in, like, the same position so I can yell at them. No! No, everyone's completing their tasks way too good. Way too well. No. No. You guys are supposed to be, like, uh, being yelled at. Okay, whatever. Everyone's doing their best things. Oh, actually, the Twitch, the oh, freaking hell, the Twitch integration is the thing that caused them to be able to, like, uh, get their jobs done immediately. God dang it. All right, anyway. Time for our nearly nearly our regular sermon sessions, so that way I can get more power when it comes to, like, going to more crusades. Give me all your power. Thank you very much. And since someone has requested to do a fight duel with another member of our cults, we'll do that then, I guess. So who are the, who are the people? Hajul and Nober. Let's see what these two are going to be doing. Intense. Intense fighting. Amazing. Okay, I need you both to be alive, though, so that's... So I don't want you guys to be completely and utterly destroyed, so... That, that'll be highly ideal. So anyway... 
That's pretty good. And uh, we can also s quickly get the quest over here and get some extra faith. Amazing. Alright, food supply is looking pretty okay-ish. We don't need to worry about food supplies just yet. Alright, let's try and go through uh, Anger Deep once again and pray to god that I don't get screwed over by the bloody game mechanics. But this time we're not using the uh, damage multiplier, um, multiplier sort of like fleece because that was already a bit too wacky already. Alright, I don't want to use the hammer again, it's not really worth it. So, I'll take the vampiric dagger. Probably isn't really worth it to like, uh, use the hammer that much all the time. An eruption of ice pillars, which is an interesting sort of uh, weapon of choice to uh, utilize. Alright, vampiric dagger. Very fast and effective, and the damage is not too bad either. So I'll take that. Oh dang, it actually is pretty, like, uh, threatening in some ways. Da -da 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 -da. Get stabbed. Alright, moving on. Okay, everyone gets these nice one-hit sort of things. There's this bomb guy, like, on the top over there, so we'll have to, like, uh, deal with that guy real quick. Get rid of these ninjas. Why do we call these, like, enemies anyway? I I'm just gonna call them ninjas, because they really are, like, that type of, like, uh, sort of behavior is just being quick as ninjas. Alright. This is a very wacky room. So I'll quickly deal with these guys. Ow! Thank god I'm not using the uh, damage multiplier uh, fleece. I mean, then again, I don't think the boss fight will be a good idea to have that fleece uh, enabled anyway. Alright. There are these areas. I think we can get a tarot card over in this direction. Hopefully, tarot card pog. Oh no! We get a relic instead. Alright, thank you for the free relic, I guess. I'll take that while I try and see if I can heal by killing all of your subjects. Because apparently this is Kamek's subjects. Alright, let me just do... Just hit them off like this. Just nonchalantly hit them like that. Because this is, this is apparently something you can do. And you're not going to get punished for that. Alright. Alright, there we go. And I don't get any uh, healing whatsoever, but I do get some free meat, so I'll, I'll take that. Alright, let's go over here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, there's actually a half heart over here. Thank you very much, game. Alright, what's down over here? Okay, there's a lot of you guys over here, which is not exactly helpful. Ow! I don't know what the heck managed to hit me, but that's not helpful. Freeze time! Ow! Jesus Christ, the amount of orbs here. That's really bloody annoying. Yarar has finally died again after uh, suffering through m m lar large amounts of old age. So finally they're able to, like, uh, pass away in peace. Hopefully. Okay. How do I deal with you? Why do you have to be such a bloody arse? Hopefully I'm able to heal up after this bloody fight, because this guy's a really bloody annoying. Why does he why does all the, like, enemies with, like, like, power-ups have to be, like, increased amount of health? It's always super bloody annoying sometimes to get that, uh, sorted. Anyway, managed to, like, heal up half amount of hearts, so appreciate that, I guess, game. Really appreciate that amount of healing. Definitely. Alright, if I just hit the debris around through here, I should get some healing here, which is not great, but not terrible either, so I'll take that. Okay, go into the next room, which is just free temporary hearts, so I'll take that then, um, I guess. Is there any more healing around through here? Um, by the looks of things, uh, no, so yeah, I'll take that then. Alright. What do we have here? Another path. There's only two more paths to, like, uh, left to unlock, so... I think we're pretty much gonna be able to, like, unlock all the paths without going to, like, the last room, which is gonna be, uh, a bit funny. Why is that... bones? I-I guess we can get some bones over here. 
And that is the case. Lots of like, uh, like bones over here. Which is pretty good when it comes to rituals as well. All right, freeze time has also been re, uh, re-unlocked, so that's good to see. Um, let's get a new follower, because we need some more people to, um, replenish our old dead followers here. Anyway, here's it. Uh, like, um, uh, anatomically incorrect sort of, uh, follower that we can grab. So, that's gonna be useful for us. Is there any healing around here? Any sort of ability to, like, not die and heal, maybe? No? Okay, fine. Guess I get nothing out of that. All right, let's go through another regular sort of dungeon area. Thank you. Get all that devotion. God, there's so many bloody annoying crabs here again. Almost got myself like uh, hurt from that. Okay, I'm such good. I'm such a genius. All right, kill off all those crabs. All right. Rice, ow! Why am I so bad at like dodging these stupid bloody guys? There we go. Gosh, this is always super annoying. Okay, freeze all active enemies or freeze time. I'm gonna probably stick to freezing the time because that might be pretty helpful, especially when it comes to like dangerous situations, like this one that involve uh, like uh, not dying a bit. Ow! go. There we go. So far so good. These guys are gonna be really annoying to keep dealing with, I swear to god. Alright. Break off all of this. Alright, nothing too uh, wacky here. I still need to heal. My healing abilities are still kinda whack. Alright, you freeze over there for a bit. While like, I throw in some combos. Why not? I can do this. I can just throw in some combos. Alright, there we go. Where are you, these guys at now? Okay, there we go. God freaking dang it. Come on, pop up. There we go. Nice. Alright, got a blue heart thanks to the Twitch integration, so I'll take that, I guess. What's over in this room? Oh, great, it's you again. All you do is just spit out more explosive boys. That's that's your only purpose. Appreciate that though. Is there any healing I can take from this room? I would like my I would like some more red hearts. That that'll be highly appreciative, but this game is saying nah. Nah, you you don't deserve them them red hearts. What the frick is this? All right, this is going to be fun. I have to like kill these guys in order, which is a bit, a tad a bit annoying, but it is doable. There we go. Just make sure that these guys are aligned very well. At least the freeze-like uh, sort of abilities is very helpful, making sure these guys do not immediately ruin my life. But dang, these guys are really bloody annoying. Alright. Is this the room where we exit through here? Yep, that's the room that we exit. And, um, these are interesting sort of, uh, swords and daggers. Interesting. I'll probably go for the vampiric sword, actually. Because, yeah, more- Still having the ability to, like, heal is always great. Alright, let's take a look at the other areas that we haven't been to yet. Maybe I can heal myself around through here? Nope. No, not, nothing of value over there, I guess. Aha! We actually have not gotten a single tarot card until this point here, so getting some tarot cards here will be really nice, honestly. Getting some tarot cards um, here. Okay, going up. And then going over in this direction. And going to the last room. I really need to get some more tarot cards. Somehow. Alright, there we go. So far, so good. Alright, okay, the, these, this freaking room again, or 
these sort of arrangement of enemies again. All right, there we go. I should get through that. That is a terrible freaking relic. I'll pass on that. All right. Just have to deal with these guys one at a time, even though they're all freaking arses. Right. The amount of damage I can deal with this guy is not particularly great. But anyway, it's better than nothing. And also we managed to heal, so that's also pretty good. Pretty good enough for us. Alright. Just to clear off all these annoying freaking mobs, including this guy. How the frick are you not dead yet? Oh my god, this bloody crab is immune to explosives. Alright. Do we get some new choices of weapons? Um, sure, I'll take the poison uh, sword as much as possible. Or damage the better. See if I can try and get some healing or temporary hearts here, maybe... No. Nothing of value for here. Big rip. Alright, continuing on. Okay, what the bloody hell is this room? Because I legitimately have no... good clue. Okay, so this guy summons in some more of those, like, annoying... Freakish boys over there with the ability to like also drop bombs when dead. What? This game really wants me to die, huh? I mean, considering that this is the last room before we reach uh, Kalamar, I guess that makes sense. Okay, vampiric sword or actually the necromantic sword will be useful because we need as much damage inflicted to um to Kalamar as possible. And what we keep uh, discovering when facing Kalamar is that. They, they really like to summon a lot of enemies to uh, assist him, so that'll be pretty beneficial for us. Alright, let me just quickly freeze these guys. I have not even used my, like, like stop time ability that much whatsoever th out throughout the entire uh, rest of the game, so might as well use that. Alright, there you go. And we finally got another tarot card. And it's the ability to drop fi God freaking damn it. Why did why does this game really want me to like get some very crappy ass tarot cards? Come on. Alright, let's finally defeat Ka Calamar. One of my followers is starving, so we better hurry this up. Hi Calamar. Whose form is kinda like mid-AF. And he's using Gatling, uh, a Gatling gun ability again. God freaking dang it. There we go. Okay. Why do you keep using the freaking Gatling gun ability? God freaking dang it. Really are trying to, like, get onto my nerves. Especially with your freaking ability to use orbs. Okay. That's great. Uh, dodge all of that. Okay, tons of orbs to dodge. Freaking crabs that I also need to dodge as well. I hate multitasking. Multitasking like this kind of sucks ours. Alright, there we go. Make sure these guys just commit death by themselves. So we have to dodge it, Jesus Christ. Gatling gun abilities. Alright, there we go. We're not gonna be able to like inflict a lot of damage at the same time, but we could do something- Ow! We could do something to uh, alleviate each of the uh, miniature enemies. Ow! out orbs. God damn it. Alright. I 
hate dealing with these stupid bloody crabs all the time. And of course, they're firing Gatling gun style. Ow! How the frick are we still not even like half health yet? Ow! God freaking dang it. This is a one annoying fight. That's one thing for sure. If this guy really likes to be like, okay. This guy really likes to keep using the same bloody like a Gatling orb attacks every single time. Which is uh, not entirely helpful. But then again, I think that is the point for like uh, boss fights like this. Ow! Yeah, we're getting close to a death here. Okay. Jesus. Okay, we can't heal. We can't heal whatsoever. Which is really annoying. We also have to make sure we time, like, those sword hits. Or sword- oh, for frick's sakes. We need to time those sort of sword attacks from, like, Calamar as well. Jesus! This is tough, but at the same time, it is kind of like the spirit of the game for it to be pretty tough like that, but Jesus bloody Christ. It is hard to get through all of that. So yeah, we probably would need to think of, like, some better, uh, strategies and ha and in order to tackle all of that, I guess. Jesus. Okay, people are starving, you say. I'm gonna try and, like, um, give you guys some, like, good options for food, but at the same time, it's, uh, it's, it's not looking as good as I would like. So here's some more food. There you go. Here's some more food here. So that way you guys don't suddenly revolt against me. And also someone already died, which is Yarar, so we can finally, uh, bury them. So I'll put them into the crypt. We should probably also start, like, uh, moving all of our uh, dead bodies into the compost store once again. And people are beginning to vomit. God dang it. So I'll just sort that out. Thank you very much, guys. I get some more devotion into our system. And yeah, looking pretty good. So far, our food supplies are doing okay. I wouldn't say they're doing amazing, but they're doing okay. Just satisfactory, like, enough for us to, uh, go by. Definitely would need some more variety in meals, but until we, like, uh, unless we open, like, the next, um, sort of stage, it's not gonna really do us any favors yet. Alright, you can join us, Alon. Um, <laughs> negative faith, five faith. If a sac uh, follower gets sacrificed, so yeah, this person's definitely fit for our cult. This uh, like anatomically incorrect uh, sort of bird. Thank you very much. All right, so we need to increase faith a little bit. Let's quickly get some free stuff around through here. Don't mind if I do. This how's our food? Our uh, wood supply. Wood is looking pretty all right. So we can just rely. Uh, see, say that that's going pretty all right. Okay, give me some more, uh, fertilizer. Uh, we can probably put some more wood stuff over here. I think we're pretty close to le leveling up our Divine Inspiration again. So, we just need to, like, level up a few of our followers and we should be then, uh, good to go, I think. But then again, it's also pretty hard to note if there's anyone that we still need to, like, upgrade yet. Some of them we could. All right, there goes one. Anyone else need to be uh, like leveled up? Because I cannot bloody tell. <laughs> it's hard to keep track of who needs to be leveled up and who's who hasn't yet. All right, let's quickly do a last sermon. Upgrade our abilities even more. Get some more powerful weapons for us to deal with freaking bloody Calamar. Give me all of your faith. Give me your faith. All right. Let's start with like a new level of weapons, because that'll be very helpful for us. And we unlock a lot of like interesting sort of um interesting sort of like combat um not traits but sort of things, so I'm pretty excited for that. Okay, and then we can do a ritual. Uh which ritual have we not done in quite some time? 
I guess to like, uh, uh do I want to like have people like, um, do like, uh, some sort of, hmm, some sort of funeral maybe? Yeah, probably the best we do a funeral for all of the, uh, lost members that we have. Uh, specifically Yarar, because Yarar is pretty pog. Yeah, let's just, put, just, let's just put Yarar in the middle over there. And Cinder is going to put in some flowers. And more people are going to give them some more flowers. And the ghost of Yarar is finally put into peace. And flowers grow again back at the, um... Back at the freaking me crypt. There we go. Anyway, that was a nice funeral. And now everyone can give me their tithing. Amazing. All right. So far, so good. Now we just have to wait for everyone else to level up a little bit, so that way we can, or get enough like a divine inspiration again, so we could. Well, do I want to, like, build ourselves the ability to automatically take care of, take care of, like, uh, like, dead bodies? Or should I, like, decrease the, uh, cost of rituals? Probably would be better to, like, decrease the cost of rituals, actually. Like, have that done, so, uh, first of all, then we can build, like, um, sort of more glare on. Because that'll be pretty helpful for us. Alright, anyway, people are still starving despite the fact that food exists um, all over the place, so I don't know why the hell are they still trying to starve. But at the same time, I, I, I guess I can't really judge them. Okay, here's some more food. Just just go and eat. I don't, I don't know why you guys are not yet eating just yet. Come on, guys. Alright, Alon. What do you want, Alon? Excuse me, leader. Some creatures are seeking shelter with our cult, but they are sick. Should we let them join? Uh, sure. Sure, we can get some more people into, like, the cult, even if they're sick. The more people, the better, I guess. Right? Their speed of work is very low, but I don't care. Everyone joins our cult, regardless. Even if you're sick and stuff. Alright. Who no no. Interesting name. 50% to hard, uh, hard to level up, but at least you don't get, um... Become a dessert... No, Deserter or dissenter, that uh, likely. So anyway, you go to your designated huts and get some rest. I mean, then again, I can also heal you guys, so that also is something I can do. Here you go, Alar. Into the medic bay you go. And uh, here you also go. Here you also go, uh, Poo No No. Great name. Alright, there we go. Everyone's in, like, a good uh, working order, so that's good to know. Okay, let's all sort out. They were pretty much like good in terms of like uh, cold management. I mean, food is still a bit of like a wacky issue, but everyone seems to be doing all right. And everyone's also putting their uh, sort of bless and not blessings, but like give their sort of offerings to me as the almighty uh, the almighty lamb. But then again, it's all just free stuff. It I I still don't know. If there's a hard limit with the amount of, like, offering, uh, buildings you can put in. But I, I find it very, uh, interesting that you can just get free stuff all the time like this. I mean, I ain't complaining, but I feel like it can be a little bit broken in some ways. Uh, whatever. That's pretty funny, though, in some regard. But, uh, also the outhouse is completely filled up, so that's lovely to deal with, so I need to clean that up. So, yeah, I need to keep doing that on a regular basis. Lovely. And here you go, Alon. Truly did it. You're really a leader without flaw. Amazing. Anyway, I'm gonna call for tonight. It's already been two hours into the stream, but my throat, I can definitely tell, is becoming a little bit of an arse, so we're gonna start getting a little bit sore after a while. I guess, um, next stream, we'll try and with our new levels of, like, weapons and whatnot, finally get through freaking Anchor Deep, because so far dealing with Calamar is a bloody pain in the arse, even though, like, as, as far as I know, I don't think um, Calamar is like the the worst um, difficulty boss fight. I think Shimura will be way worse. But at the same time, having to deal with like uh, Calamar every single time is such a pain in the bloody arse um, in so many ways. But then again, we should be able to like just use pure brute force against him. 
So we should be fine. So anyway, I'll see you guys again next time. If you want to see more of these nice cold lamp sort of things where we uh, try and like get some more uh, overpowered uh, abilities, such as the ability to like increase our mul uh, damage multiplier to some high amount, then uh, be sure to join the Wacky Discord server, so that way you get notified immediately when the next stream goes live, and you can see more of these wacky streams or uh, other sort of content that I make also from the Discord server as well. So anyway, I'll see you guys again next time. Be nice, be chill. I probably would add this photo into, like, um... <laughs> I love how Cinder is in the background just, like, pogging or whatever like that. Uh, but anyway, I'll see you guys again next time. I'll probably just put this as, like, thumbnails for the VOD or whatever like that. And I'll see you guys, yeah, at some point. I, I can't I, I can't figure out how to end the stream. I'm so bad at, like, ending, like, variety gaming streams like this. Usually you have, like, an, out, uh, like an outro or whatever like that, but I don't really do these, like like do a raid after uh, this because of like the low viewership and whatnot so it's kind of kind of awkward to like just suddenly end the stream